Leitrim is a county in the province of Connacht in northwestern Ireland. It's in the border region and it borders six counties, one of these being County Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. For one of the smaller counties, it does have many interesting borders. County Leitrim is the least populated of the counties of Ireland, being home to only 32,000 people. This is smaller than the populations of San Marino or Gibraltar. Leitrim's population has declined sharply from 155,000 in 1841 before the Great Famine. It's also today the least densely populated county, with only 20 people per square kilometre. The county town and largest urban area in County Leitrim is Carrick on Shannon, which with a population of 4,000 doesn't make the list of the top 100 largest settlements in the Republic of Ireland. The only other county town to experience this is Lifford in County Donegal. Carrick on Shannon isn't even fully in County Leitrim, it's divided with Roscommon by the River Shannon. The town's train station is located in Roscommon, but don't worry, County Leitrim does have one train station further south at Tromid. Leitrim for the longest time didn't have any traffic lights and it got its first sesh in 2016. Leitrim has a coastline on Donegal Bay, meaning that the World Atlantic Way touring route passes through the county. Note that the coastline is only 4km long or about the same as Monaco's. That's all of the negative facts about Leitrim out of the way, now time for some strange internal borders. Firstly, exclaves are pieces of land that are separated from the rest of a country, state or county. Enclaves are similar, but are pieces of land completely surrounded by another entity. Exclaves can be enclaves, and enclaves can be exclaves, though this isn't always the case. Next we come to penny exclaves. These are areas of land that are still connected to the rest of the territory, but are not connected by road or other means. This leaves them practically as an exclave. So if you want to enter this penny exclave, you have to leave the country, state or county that you're in, just to enter it again somewhere else. Examples are Alaska in the United States, shown big on the quick waterford border, or more that are about to come up in this video. Starting at the Atlantic coast near Tullahin, the border starts south of the town of Bondurin in County Donegal. This short 11 km border is all that connects County Donegal to the rest of the Republic of Ireland, making it a panhandle. The Droz River acts as some of the border until it enters Leitrim and heads south towards Loch Melvin. The lake is divided between Leitrim and Fermanagh by the international border, being one of the many lakes in Ireland to do so. Before the river enters the lake, the L2079 enters Donegal, back into Leitrim and then back into County Donegal again. This creates a Penne exclave on the north side of the Droz River. The Troy Point with Fermanagh and Cavan is found at Loch Machnean Upper and a small divided settlement is found at Dara on the River Shannon, which is just a few kilometres north of Loch Allen. Keep Dara and the River Shannon in mind for later. Leitrim goes on to border Longford, where some small panhandles are found near the Troy Point of Leitrim, Longford and Roscommon. A divided village is also found just north of here at Ruski. The River Shannon continues as the border through Carrick and Shannon, which as mentioned is divided with Roscommon. It continues past Leitrim village and into Loch Allen near Trum Shanbo. The border with Sligo starts west of the lake and it continues through Loch Gill, Glencoe Loch and enters the sea again at the River Duff. You may have noticed that Leitrim's borders passes just north of Loch Allen at Dowra and through Loch Allen at the south. This leaves a small 3 km length of land that connects both halves of County Leitrim. As I also mentioned, Dowra is on the River Shannon which enters the lake after flowing through the village. The first bridge across the river is on the Cavan Leitrim border at Dara, so if you want to drive from one side of the Shannon to the other, you'll have to leave County Leitrim just to enter it again. Since some of Loch Allen is owned by Roscommon, this leaves no link fully connecting Leitrim on both sides of the river and lake. Therefore, County Leitrim is divided in two, with half of its area being a penny exclave. I hope that you found this video interesting and like Leitrim's population, continue social distancing as well as washing your hands. If you have any ideas for future videos, put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video, follow me on Twitter and subscribe for more on Ireland, Europe and the world.